everyone, my name is Savannah. This morning we got a very special live stream from Planet Zoo. We are getting hints and also some confirmations about what is coming in update 1.15 and possibly what we'll be seeing in the next DLC. Now I'll be making a separate speculation DLC video, but in this video I want to talk about what has been confirmed by the developers. We have two very exciting announcements. So let's go ahead and jump on into that. Don't forget, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know how excited you are and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future Planet Zoo news. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first confirmed update, as you can see, involves our Bornean orangutan, and look at him go! These guys, just like the Largiven and the Siamang, will now actually be able to brachiate or swing from these climbing frames just as these animals would do in real life. I know this is an update that has been long awaited and highly requested. So I'm very excited to see even older animals in the game. The Bornean Orangutan, I believe, is a base game animal, correct? I don't think it was part of the Deluxe Edition. I think it was just a, a flat-out base game animal. But it's so nice to see even original animals still get updates in the game. I absolutely love that the devs will go back and add much needed. I mean, this is just quality of life, right? These animals should be able to do this and now they finally can, which is very exciting because we just added them to Mesa Gardens Zoo in our franchise zoo. And now I'm gonna have to go back and redo their climbing frame so that they actually have something to swing on and hang on. So very exciting on that front. Next, we have the confirmation of viewing domes. Check this out. So this morning, Frontier released a sneak peek little photo. Um, I won't really share it because there wasn't really much of anything other than some like red pandas behind what looked like a glass screen, um, which is obviously this viewing dome that you see here with these ring-tailed lemurs. How cool is that? So in the live stream, the devs confirm that you'll be able to place this in any of your exhibits and have your guests be able to get a very close look at any of your animals. More exciting is that they also confirmed that this viewing gallery will work underwater. It'll work underwater, which is just phenomenal. So they did mention that in order to place this, you will have to place it down before you add in water. You can't just add it into already existing water, which makes sense. That's basically how we treat the water now is you got to do everything, get it all perfect, and then add the water is the very last step. Um, but it will work underwater. So underwater viewing just got a whole lot more exciting. Um, so I'm really excited. This is something that you commonly see for like meerkat habitats. I've seen them in prairie dog exhibits just to get your guests like up close and kind of on the animal's eye level to just immerse them in your exhibits. Uh, really, really cool. So I'm very excited about this one. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What do you think this is hinting at? I have some ideas based on the entire live stream, what the DLC might be. And again, I'm putting together a separate video for that. But do you think either of these updates hint at what might be coming in the DLC? Or do you think they're just very good quality of life updates, uh, very good additions to the game? As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, all the YouTube stuff that really does help me out. And it makes sure that you don't miss out on any Planet Zoo news, information, or content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk at you in the next video. Bye!